was a wild scene in the San Fernando Valley overnight with big crowds gathering for multiple illegal street takeovers. Yeah, and fireworks. Boy, Gigi mm -hmm. Graciette is live in Lake Balboa with the story. The people who live in that, this happened at what, one o'clock in the morning? So disruptive, Gigi. It started... Right. It started around 8 o'clock last night and it went on well into the early morning hours. And as you mentioned, a lot of folks were woken up by the noise. It was quite the night as streets in multiple neighborhoods in the San Fernando Valley were taken over. Here in Lake Balboa, it was at the intersection of Louise and Satakoy, the stage for this sideshow. While dozens of drivers did donuts, their passengers hung out the window while spectators recorded it all for social media. The same scene playing out in Chatsworth at Nordoff and Lurline, and on and on it went. Granada Hills, Silmar, North Hollywood, Van Nuys, the drivers and their fans moving quickly between the noise from the screeching tires, the cheering, and the police sirens. Neighbors say it was a sleepless night, and they've had enough. It's sad because this is our neighborhood. This is our country. This is what's happening. Where are these parents? Why? I mean, I know they're not all minors, but a lot of them are adults. But where are their ethics? What's happening? You know, we live here. This is what we have to look look at every single day. Little chipmunk, chipmunk over there. Now, what she's talking about is also the graffiti, because while the spectators, some of them were recording, others were setting off those fireworks, others spray-painted the walls on all four corners here. We would show you all of it, but some of it, of course, is not suitable for television. We spoke to the LAPD. No arrests were made. And again, we counted at least six street takeovers. Reporting live in Lake Balboa, I'm Gigi Graciette. Back to you. All right, Gigi, thank you.